Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at an early access game on Steam that just came up, called Salt. Uh, Salt appears to be a first person survival crafting game, so obviously not very unique, basically. Were it not for the fact that it is about building ships and exploring from island to island across an endless sea, which, uh, as soon as you throw the ocean in there, you've got me sold, because I'm big on all sorts of ocean-related things. So, uh, well, let's get into Salt. I don't really know too much about this. Your very own World Seed for only $99.99.99. Create. So this does appear to be a randomly procedurally generated sort of game. From what I understand, you uh, you start on an island and you want to build some sort of small raft or something to leave the island and head to other islands. I wouldn't say it's quite uh, sort of a Minecrafty copy. Obviously, it doesn't quite look like a voxel-based sort of game very simplized sort of look to it. Of course, this is early access. Uh, it's been in early access for a while on the developer's website before it just came up on Steam. Let's open this help book. Welcome to the world of salt. So, inventory tab, interact E, right click. We don't have anything in our inventory except a strange journal and basic crafting. I don't know if there's some story to this, or if that's just sort of a hint on how to get our first boat going. But somewhere here is an unlocked chest. You can see an island off in the distance, another one. So yeah, this is just sort of a game about exploring, I guess. Um, there is some survival to this, I think. You still have to eat and stuff, but it's not quite as pronounced as some other games that have come out recently. Alright, so what can we actually do? Interact with the world. I'm guessing we can't just punch trees. and a floating tree that we can see through the bottom. Hmm, where would I be if I were a chest? Is that it over there? Also, can we swim? Oh, Jesus. All right, we can swim, but you don't want to go underwater because it's a black nightmare. I was going to say, what's to stop me from just swimming to the other island, but I wonder if there's maybe like a sort of shark thing. Okay, we got a log. Oh dear. Did I crash the game? No, it just sort of froze up when I tried to open the grafting menu. Um, what can we make with this log? Oh. Um, we can make a club. We can make a club. <laughs> I guess that's all we can make. Sure, let's make a club. 
A club is not a weapon, I guess? What can you do with a club? From what I understand, there is actually, like, pirates in this game. So, uh, we have to defend ourselves, not just from the elements. So, when I click, he swings, but if I hold down the click, it... Oh, it's a sideways swing. It just looked weird because I was up against the tree. Um... I'm still not seeing this chest. What did that journal say again? It doesn't actually say. It just says while foraging, so it could be anywhere. I mean, this isn't the largest island, but uh, there's still a lot of places to look for a chest. The chest is not very large. It almost makes me wish someone would make just an open-ended sort of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you know, without the the main story and everything to push you along, just the same sort of naval combat, oh, there's a chest, and the ability to sort of uh, take your ship around, get off, and explore islands and stuff. Loot all. Alright, what do we got? I got plant fibers, we got cloth, and we got wood. I'm assuming we can make... A sail. We do not appear to have enough wood to make. Okay, there we go. We need a. Oh, that's a flag. We don't actually appear to have enough materials to make a sail, which uh, is problematic. I just realized our other book is not the uh, the instructions, it is the crafting recipes. So for a sail, we need two cloth and seven logs. So I guess we just don't have enough logs, and I kind of wasted one making this club. Also for a pickaxe, which I assume we need to cut down trees, only because it's the only tool, we need a hard stone. So I guess we gotta scavenge around a bit, see if I can find those.
doesn't seem like you can intentionally go underwater. You sort of just bob underwater. I wonder if they'll add underwater stuff later on. Alright, so this is an island. It's probably got some stuff for us to steal. There seems to be multiple animals on that island, or is those just logs? You know, I feel like if somebody made a Minecraft mod that was just this, basically... Like, I know there's a lot of those survival maps where it's like one island, and people seem to love watching YouTubers play those for some reason, but I feel like it'd be neat to, to have a Minecraft mod that just made sort of an ocean world filled with islands. There probably has been. Someone's probably done something like that, even if it's not specifically what I'm thinking. Hmm. Ooh, a camp. Someone's been here. I was gonna say there's... Pirates! Oh, jeez. I gotta open my inventory and equip the club. I say pirates, but I think it's just a pirate who kind of just looks like a farmer. Get out of here, pirate man. Make some gentle slapping sounds on him with my club. Pirate. Doesn't really look broken, but okay, if you say so. Tree fruit. Alright, let's eat the tree fruit. Okay, that is our food meter. So the bottom right is our health. We got kind of beat up there. Do have any bandages? Did I make any bandages? No, I didn't. Well, let's make a bandage. One bandage, please. You feel better, but not much. Alright, let's see if there's... Oh, a rich boulder. Knock, knock. Any loot home? The sound design definitely needs some work, but again, this is early access, so that's the sort of stuff that comes in later. Alright, what do we got? A, a, no, we've got colored loot. Things are getting serious now. I can't actually read that, the blue on blue. Something or ironite. And stone block. Yeah, ironite. So what if we try crafting that with... Oh, we don't have any sticks. Right, I used them all for my boat. Now, where was that guy's camp? Let's see if we can steal some shit. Even if that shit is just a log. Oh hey, we can save at these fireplaces. Makes an ominous sound. Hey, here! Come back here, I need your blood. A little odd that there's a deer on this island? Especially if there's only one. How did it get here? I guess it could have just swam between islands. Island hopping deer. I mean, presumably, deer and moose and elk do swim, considering that they are apparently one of the uh, potential foods of a killer whale out in Vancouver. Where did he go? How did he vanish? It's a large animal. If only we had our Cabela senses still. We can smell the animal's fear using our hunter senses. Again, not a very large island. Probably should not be able to outrun us, but whatever. So, you know, this doesn't seem bad. Um, 
the the survival crafting genre is getting a little bloated uh, pirate but I think that's just because you know it was so popular after things like Daisy and Minecraft hardcore difficulty and people have still not really given up on uh, capitalizing on that hey there's the deer or a deer I'm going to die to this pirate captain. What a jerk. Oh no, another pirate? There's a whole crew of pirates here. The question is, can you swim? Yo ho ho and a pirate's life for me indeed. I'm gonna die out here. <laughs> Can I deploy my boat to save myself? No, I think we're too far out. Oh, no. Uh. Help, I'm crushed under my boat. Let us make our escape from Pirate Island number one. Because I'm sure there's more pirates. Um, it's a little odd that there are pirates and no apparent pirate ships. I feel like that's kind of a, a requirement to be a pirate. You need to have a ship, or have previously had a ship that you lost in a storm, or while pirating. Those just seem like jerks on an island. Yeah. Alright, we are on our way. I don't know if my mic dipped out there for a sec, but the cable came loose. Just uh, another day as a, a captive or something on the high seas. Oh, there's a ship over there. I don't know if we can handle another ship, though. We couldn't even fight two pirates. Alright, we've arrived at another one of the large islands, though I do see some columns of smoke. Uh, but I'm not sure we can really take pirates. Regular pirates, yes. Pirate captains, no. Um, let's see, can I make any better weapons? I'm guessing f ironite is not hardstone and neither is flintstone. Let's try mixing that with logs. Nothing? No. To make arrows with... Oh, yeah, that's what it flints for. But we don't have the materials to make a sword. I think this game is lacking the ability to equip these things, though. On, like, a hotbar or something. Because it's kind of a pain to have to open your menu every time you want to pull it out. Though at least the menu doesn't force you to stop walking. I don't know if these fires guarantee there's pirates or there's a chance of pirates. But let's try resting. Did, did anything happen there? It's still night. Still night. And it's day. Seems we don't... Oh, there's somebody. Seems we don't get hungry that quickly. Oh, jeez, two pirates. <laughs> you find an exceptional stem of bamboo just by stepping on it. Obviously, we're not really cut out for combat with this club. It seems more like it's for killing animals than these pirates. Considering they're doing almost double damage than I am. And I have run out of bandages and cloth to make bandages with.
Oh, can we Skyrim up here? I suppose that's not so much Skyrim as an Elder Scrolls thing of all varieties. Oh my god. We can just jump straight up this cliff if we turn backwards. Our reverse momentum is much higher than our forward momentum. Nope, unless we stop, at which point we fall. These islands all seem to be kind of similar, though, in that they all seem to have a mountain in the middle. I thought that was a... Uh... What do these exceptional stems of bamboo do? I bet we can make a fishing rod out of that. It's maybe a little weird that we need an entire log for crafting. Oh, jeez. I'm sliding. Oh, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything up there anyway. Seems like a shame that it's so hard to actually harvest anything. Like, we can't just, you know, break up these bushes for plant fibers. So I'm not actually sure where we're supposed to get plant fibers. But again... As with all early access games, it's kind of difficult to ascertain how far along the developer's intended path the game is. So it's hard to tell when this is just the bare bones and when, you know, this is only the beginning. And then there are some early access games that are basically final product. Or, you know what the developer pretends is the final product if they haven't <laughs> if they haven't sold it off to someone else and then put it into full release without actually finishing any of the features <clears throat> nether there's definitely a lot of uh, shady business with early access games I've heard there are some games that were released not in early access got a lot of really poor reviews for being bad games, and then turned around and switched to early access, the developer saying, oh, sorry, we meant to be in early access all along to avoid the criticism. It's just a very messy area, really. Like, there are a lot of people who are angry that it exists at all, that developers can sell games before they are finished with no real uh, promise of having to actually finish the game. And, you know, I can see where they're coming from. Because there's nothing in... I'm assuming there's nothing in Steam's uh, early access terms of service for people who sign up for it saying that, yes, I will have a list of features that have to be implemented before the game is considered full release. To the point where Steam's term of service is basically just, hey, if you buy an early access game, you're throwing money into a pit and hoping something good comes out but don't ask for a refund just because it is not good or the developer's kind of an asshole, etc, etc. But I think, really, when it comes down to it, it's just a buyer beware thing. Like, hey, if you've got some extra money to blow and something looks interesting, then yeah, maybe buy it and see how it develops, but... Don't blame a seller for selling a bad product in a marketplace, you know, that's like blame that's like going to like Walmart or something, buying something and then coming back and saying, This is a shitty product, I want my money back. Well I mean, if it's a shitty product, it's a shitty product. It's not the the store's fault for having it at all. Anyhow, let's uh I think I saw a ship over there. Yeah, let's check out one of these ships and then I think we'll call it because there's not too much to see here, and it is a bit of a, a slow-paced sort of game. Which is why most people should not make 100-part series about Minecraft-esque games. But they do it anyway. I feel like this game needs some relaxing music that kicks in when you're sailing.
Okay, the plant fibers and bamboo. What did I need plant fibers for? For tripwire. Why I can't find it now? Oh no, it's over to the uh, extreme right. No, left. Port. The prey approaches. Though is the prey us or them? Not really clear, because if the ship is full of pirates, we're gonna die. sails. I wonder if we can just steal this pirate ship for ourselves. That'd be a lot easier than making a new one. Alright, so we can't keep our whatever we have equipped out when we are adjusting the rudder. Also known as the steering stick. The thing what makes you go in the direction you are going. Alright. Uh, I'm noticing a problem. How do we get up there? <laughs> oh. Okay, we can just go up and press E on it, I guess. Mm, a treasure chest. But it is locked. I wonder if we have to uh, find the owners of the ship and steal them. Oh, this ship appears to be moving on its own. Like those two uh, fires over there that are probably pirate related. Okay, so we can actually take over this pirate ship, but we have to fix it. Because I guess we can't just, just put the steering wheel back on. We need a lot of stuff to fix this. I mean, it is a pretty large ship. Can I at least furl this? Or... No, I can't put the sails down and let it just drift. No, oh, that's probably not how you're supposed to use a rudder. <laughs> I wonder if that ship would be faster because it has bigger sails. So that's neat, having a sort of derelict ship that you can actually just fix. I'm assuming it's probably larger than anything you can make yourself. Sort of like the, uh, the derelict ships in Space Engineers. Except I don't think we can break it apart for materials. Or put rockets on it and slam it into somebody. All right, this uh, this island will be our last destination on this little journey, I think, and then we'll call it for salt. But yeah, this seems this seems pretty neat. Again, I, I've mentioned this before in similar sort of games. It's really hard to judge early on whether a uh, an early access survival crafting game because all of them have to be early access for some reason. I don't know why anyone can't just finish one first and then release it. But uh. It's really hard to tell if this is a, a prompt when it's a promising project with a good future or when it's just something that's a neat idea that's never going to get fleshed out beyond this. Like, I like what's here. Obviously, it's kind of basic right now, but the idea of being able to travel across the oceans and fight pirates and maybe sea monsters and stuff while getting better and better stuff to continue exploring is a neat idea. But again, without a lot of uh, variety and such, then it becomes kind of pointless. Ideally, I imagine this game being able to sort of let you recreate a uh, 
the Odyssey sort of situation where we're just sailing to all these strange places. I guess they could have sort of uh, maybe pre-built islands scattered into the random generator, so they'll randomly generate while you're sailing around with uh, maybe island-specific monsters or something. You know, it's got neat potential. Now, a lot of people don't put validity into the complaints of games not having multiplayer, but I think this is one that would definitely benefit from it, just because of the sort of lack of a central objective. Think Daisy, except with pirate ships, where you go around looting other people's ships as they try to escape you. I bet that's a pirate captain, isn't it? Yep. Not gonna fuck with you, buddy. Your pirate stick is- oh, Jesus. I found his crew. I'm gonna say that they probably have a key to that boat. But I cannot kill the three of them with my club. And, oh, I'm taking damage. Wait, am I taking damage or are they taking damage? Why is it appearing on the left side of the screen now when I take damage? I guess their pathing isn't very good, even when you're still sort of on land. So can I just eat this, or do I have to cook it? I guess you can just eat it. So yeah, it's not even really a survival game, you know. Much like Minecraft isn't really a survival game, it just sort of has a food meter that you have to worry about occasionally, but isn't really that central to moment-to-moment -to -moment gameplay. Okay, you're not the pirate captain, so I will... Never mind, you are the pirate captain. Why are you, like, half dead? I didn't even hit you. Did you like, take, like, fall damage or something? Am I dead? Are you sure about that game? I don't feel dead. And then it just dumps us back to the last campfire we saved at, so, again, not really a survival game. It's mostly just a crafting game, I guess. Crafting and exploration. This is salt. I believe it is, I want to say, 10 to $15 right now in early access. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems like a neat basis, but again, it might be the sort of game you want to keep track of its progress before actually buying in. But I like the foundation they've got going here. It's, uh, it's a neat idea. One that hasn't been overly done to death in the survival genre. And uh, I hope to see this evolve in a good way, and not end up like a lot of the other disasters that have called themselves early access games. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Salt, and I will see you all around some other time in some other ocean. Until then, you folks take care. Vengeance will be mine. Death to all pirates. Uh, hold off on that vengeance thing. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs>